Hello everyone, welcome back to this new video. Charles here from Dravia Studio and today we have a video, not a tutorial, but a benchmark video between Cycle, X and Loscore. Why this new tutorial, this new video? We already had uh, some benchmark when uh, Blender 3.0 was uh, in development with Blender Guru, with uh, other YouTube channel comparing Cycle to Cycle X and the speed improvement and also Cycle X to low score. But personally, I found the information there and the procedure uh, used by those channel a bit misleading. So I decided that when Blender 3.0 and Cycle get stable version, I will just jump in and make a comparison. So for this purpose here, I use Blender 2.61, which is the version working with uh, Blender 3.0. Here you can see in my add-on and uh, preferences and render. I have low score 2.61. You can download this in the low score forum as the lastest build. Okay, so for the purpose of this tutorial, I just decided also to make a really advanced scene so people can have a better idea of how Bob engine compare in a professional environment. I'm mostly doing architectural visualization, so I decided to build this giant building it is actually a real project it is a uh, genmab building uh, at quarter so this building is a five floor building and you have quite uh, a lot of geometry here with the furniture and a lot of walls and enough complexity to represent real world case things you will have to deal with in a work environment so the about the scene itself, it is a 120 million polygon scene and also the shader are made to be compatible between cycle and low score. Actually all the most of the shader, so 90% of the shader are from cycle and low score just read from there. If you take for example the, the wall here. You can see that Lusco is using the cycle node as it is shown here. And uh, for the other shader, like the leaves on the trees inside of the scene, uh, just to make individual shader for both engines because they don't treat translucency the same way. And also I did it for the <coughs> the glass panel here and this is actually a very important uh, part you have to understand before we start this comparison because for example here i use uh, you, in architectural visualization you have two kind of uh, glass shader one which is the fake, uh, fake glass which is simply uh, mixing a gloss interior as people do glossy material with a transparent shader and you have a kind of hybrid glass where you can make natural glass here with a, trans a transparent uh, material but use the light path node to make the shadow completely transparent and this is the trick that i use with cycle to add the render engine so it gives you the refraction and all the detail internal detail uh, internal refraction of the glass but without all the cost so we have the same uh, approach in loose core if you look here loose core is not using the cycle node but a loose core node here the same node is simple so in loose core you just have to switch the shadow color from black to white so they are doing actually the same job here. Also, we are using uh, an HDRI from HDRI Ivan. So you can see it here, cloud Fendal 48, partly cloudy. So this is the HDRI used for this. Scene. And also we just uh, used to follow the same uh, approach, almost, of uh, the Blender Guru benchmark. In cycle, for example, there is no help from the clumping. So clumping is completely debatable on direct light and indirect light. And also you have uh, 
the bone slide here which is 42 for the plus uh, the class material and also 44 for buff engine and also you have low score here with the same setting for the uh, for the boom sliding and also you have uh, the same to not clamp here we decide also to not clamp the, the the render so you have brute force and uh, GI cache which will be compared together so here are the settings for the, the GI cache of low score and also you already saw all the setting from uh, cycle so with no further explanation just let the benchmark start
the render is done and you saw yourself actually surprise surprise blue score is not seven times slower than cycle x or cycle or any other render engine so why was that so this need a little bit of explanation it makes totally sense why so i at the beginning of the video i just explained that i used the approach of the blender goose and by just removing all the kind of helping the engine can have like the clamping for example but there is another setting used in this uh, video that i didn't follow this one caustic the reflective and the refractive caustic are on on the uh, cycle benchmark that i'm doing here so why is that and why it makes sense so let's see together the results of the uh, blender guru video comparison so look for example all the image here so this is an actual capture of the video so you see the low score render how bright the scene is look the ceiling look behind the glass how bright is the statue look the arnold here arnold on the left side look the uptime one look the redshift and look the very everything look bright and proportionally smooth but look at the cycle render look the statue how black it is look at the selling look at the selling in corona and look at the a cycle selling and also the statue so everything regarding reflective caustic and all the rays coming from a reflection or a refraction are completely cut out so all the engine here cycle and e cycle and in half corona one because you can even see on the water part that corona completely cut and all the information come for the from the pool completely black and this is completely misleading you see in the and the selling the difference in brightness see here also the same the difference in brightness so by cutting the uh, the reflection and the refraction caustic they are simply removing a lot of competition in the cycle e cycle and in the same approach in the corona one the corona one is less uh, strong so you cannot see it as stronger but you get the idea so what what is the point here the point is that you cannot compare engine but just speed you have also to factor the quality and the accuracy of the result and here it is not respected so it is like Arnold, Lusko, Vere are doing a lot of job and this job is not taken in consideration. So how this uh, factor of removing the reflection caustic uh, affects our comparison here? Let's see. So this is uh, a 3K render cropped and of cycle x and low score on different settings so if you look here the two image this one and this one we just took off the caustic and still no clamping but you see how dark it is and you see how dark it is compared to all the harder actually this render is cycle hex but the full gi all the caustic is on and you see that it look natural it look brighter this is the same here but by enabling the caustic the refraction and the refraction caustic yes you get the realism you get all the brightness of the scene which make it appealing realistic and accurate but also you start to see all those noise and this is what was annoying for this uh, benchmark in uh, the blender guru one i don't think that they make it uh, in purpose uh, but this is how it is this is what it is if you take for example the low score uh, path tracing brute force compared to the uh, cycle one you see that the score is actually 
cleaner than the cycle one. And if you take the GI cache version of LoScore, it is way, way cleaner. In the render, the GI cache was actually four times faster than Cycle X. Why? Because it is GI cache and photo mapping in this kind of scenario, interior with a lot of indirect light, is the fastest techniques. And you have this kind of uh, feature in Corona and Vire and also in Redshift because it matters. So why we didn't see this improvement in the uh, low score versus cycle and corona benchmark? Because actually they didn't use this uh, feature of low score, which is the Coton GI cache. And you see that it is actually uh, nice looking and very bright and very quick also. In just uh, a quarter of the time needed by the other render engine compared to the scene so you see darker scene here this does not mean that uh, it is a faster render so uh, I say that I don't think that Blender Guru and other people are doing it on purpose if you remember well this is a comparison from the past from the Blender Guru guys so and this was with the old loose render with uh, without all the improvement we have today so and in this render at this uh, old day I don't remember the date but you see cycle versus looks render and actually for a car render Lux render was faster and if you look also in the interior comparison here Lux render was faster than cycle so why now that Lusco have GI cache the engine will be slower so I tell just people to just think about uh, what they read what they do when they are comparing the engine so this scene will be available to download on my CG trader I will put uh, the link in the in the description video and also here you have uh, some freaky uh, results of the GI cache low score so you can see that everything is correct and actually very nice so you will have this send to download for just uh, 10 euro so you can also make your own test so I hope that you enjoy the video and that it's uh, you get a lot of information if you like the channel and the work we are doing just subscribe to the channel and also test the engine and also remember if you look at information make sure that everything you are doing and if you are making comparison make sure that everything is correctly set up uh, thank you for watching this tutorial and see you in the next day.